What's up guys? Welcome back to the Auto Garage YouTube channel. Today we got the 2008 Mazda Speed 3. I bought this car about three weeks ago and I just want to give you an overview of the car and an overall first impression. So starting from the front here, this car is turbocharged but you don't see an air cooler or a hood scoop. So we'll show more on this in a minute. What happens is the air goes in these two top vents and it basically does an arch inside the hood and then it feeds the top mount intercooler. More on that in a minute. Um, just pretty standard headlights. They're, by, they're Xeon headlights, so they're pretty bright. You know, fog lights. Nothing too, no, nothing that stands out that would make you think that this is a special division within Mazda. It just looks like the regular Mazda 3. Coming to the side, we got these special 18 inch wheels that are only available on Mazda Speed 3. These ones happen to be plastic dipped. That wasn't my doing, but I think I'm going to leave them like that until I eventually get some aftermarket wheels. I'm thinking of getting a bronze color. I think that'll look cool against the white. Comes along the side here, just a hatchback. But again, really standard car. The only hint that this is anything special is this little spoiler on the back. And once you come to the inside, you get some more Mazda Speed goodies. The inside door trim is Alcantara with red stitching on the inside. And if you want to take a shot at the seats, you can tell they say Mazda Speed on them. Very comfy, half leather, half, half Alcantara. And there's one thing I love about this car, it's the seats. It is a six speed manual, which feels really nice. I love shifting through this gearbox, it's not clunky at all. Uh, I installed this aftermarket touchscreen. More on that in a minute. Um, it was a little bit less than $300 and it works fabulously. Coming to the glove box here, it has one stage and two stages, which is really convenient for storing all of your crap like I do. Um, normal sized glove box. The doors do have cup holders in them, which is really nice. I haven't had a car with that feature yet, so that's quite handy. And the Mazda Speed 3, you actually could not get a sunroof with. Um, they wanted to try to cut weight down as much as possible, so it was not even an option to get a sunroof in a Mazda Speed 3, which I thought was interesting. And also, they were only hatchbacks. You could not get a Mazda Speed 3 as a sedan, which would have been less popular anyway. Coming to the back seats, the passenger seat is all the way back. And so my knees hit, but if you're in a more appropriate driving position, there's enough room for everyone. Head doesn't hit. This comes down. You have two cup holders and an armrest. Not a whole lot of features or comfort. After all, this is just an economy car souped up a little bit. So I don't expect a whole lot. Uh, it does come with a seven speaker Bose audio system, which sounds amazing. And more cup holders in the doors for all your cups and cup holding needs. And like I've already said about three times, this car is a hatchback. It has a rear wiper, which is neat. Mazda Speed 3. I do love these black headlight housings. Most headlights are red, or taillights. Yeah. And I do like the black housing. It looks really sleek, especially against the white pearlescent paint. Come back here. Really wide bumper, and I noticed this is a really thick bumper. You know, this is a very safe car. You have about 15 feet of bumper. Look, like my entire hand covers before the hatch. Well, you get tons of room back here. Enough room to store a bunch of body, uh, overnight gear if you're going camping or whatever. You get this little cargo mat too to hide all your belongings so uh, people don't steal your stuff, which is good because you don't want that stuff stolen probably. Single exit exhaust. This car does have a cat back. I'll do a little bit of a warm start for you. And then we can come inside and look at the screen real quick. This car isn't too loud and it doesn't drone too much. It just has a nice little burble, especially once you get higher into the revs. And you can really hear the turbo. It sounds really good. Here, you wanna, here I'll give you a few revs and then we can come inside. Water because my mouth is a little bit hot right now because that was so spicy. 
All right. Oh, here, come under the hood real quick, and then and then we'll show the screen. So this car has a 2.3 liter inline four going to the front wheels. It makes about 280 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. It's a very torquey motor. It feels really good at low revs. This engine revs up to 70 or 6,700 RPM. And here's that top mount intercooler I was talking about. So the air comes through here, the top part, and then it goes in there in these little vents right here, comes out right here, and then plants itself into the intercooler. So that's how the cooling system works. The second generation had just a hood scoop, which I think looks better, but that's the only thing on the car I like better. This car looks much better. The second gen looks really girly. And here, I'll rev it a few more times, and y'all can listen to the blow-off valve. It's pretty loud. Bender, my cat, you know, I'd say it's a pretty, it's a good sounding motor, you know, um, it's a little bit ricey, yes, but, you know, we love stir fried rice, it's a good meal for everyone, it's cheap too, and if you're buying shit boxes, you're poor, so that helps, here, come on to the inside, come on. So this is the speaker right here. I installed it myself. Um, so this is the navigation system, or this is the air conditioning system. That's all this screen right here. So you can set the temperature, you know, basic stuff. You guys aren't kids. Well, maybe you are, but you know how that works. This is a very responsive screen. Again, the company is called Eonon. So I'll link them in the description. Responsive screen. If you want to go to Apple CarPlay, you just plug your phone in like this. And then it just takes a second. Don't want to get copyrighted. Oops. So, yep. You have your library here. You can go through your playlists. All. What, what, what are the names of these playlists? These, these are not. What the heck? Yeah, but you go right here. And then let's say I'm going to your mom's house. I can type in her address right here. I can see all the addresses. And then I can have two screens in one. So I can have the maps and the navigation right here. And that, taught with being able to shift through this amazing six-speed gearbox with a first gear or, or reverse lockout, you have to push it down to the right. I've never had that before. And this does have a backup camera. I haven't wired it up yet. So that'll be coming soon. And one thing I actually don't like about this car is the uh, steering wheel. Um, here, I'll take the camera. So in a lot of cars, this part pops out, gets a little thicker, and this wheel, it doesn't. Um, the TSX wheel was leather, which felt nice. This Jeep feeling, not that great. I don't think it's the best looking wheel. It's very functional, it has all the buttons you expect, and I love the gauge cluster, especially when the lights are off, it's bright red. Um, but yeah, so. This was a little walk around of my Mazda Speed 3. Oh, that's what the horn sounds like. Very good, very good. So if you like this video somehow, or for whatever reason want to subscribe, please do so. I need more money for gas because this thing has horrible gas mileage. I think I'm getting about 16 combined. So uh, thanks guys.